So, Kalia, um, it's important for you to realize how we got to this point right here. In Ephesians 2, Paul talks about that in, hu in our humanity that we are all dead in our sins, objects of wrath. That's the, that's the bad news. But the good news that I, I pray that you never forget, and this will always be a point of a really special place for you to come back to and remember and refresh your faith about how you got to this point, and it's this. But because of God's great love for you, I'll just make it personal, God who is rich in mercy made you alive with Christ even when you were dead in your transgressions and sins. It is by grace, His grace, that you have been saved. And God will raise you up in just a few moments with Christ and seat you with Him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus in order that in the coming ages, long after we're gone and you're here with the next generation, in order in the coming ages, he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to you in Christ Jesus. It is by grace that you have been saved through faith, and this is not a gift from yourself or from anyone here, but from God himself. And I pray that you will never forget that when you come here, you realize God used your awesome family to water and plant, your grandmother's prayers, all of these people, at some played a certain role of watering and planting, and we'll continue to do that, but never forget the rich mercy, kindness, and the love, and the power of God that brought you to this place. That will inspire your faith, even in the hardest of times, as you fight forward. And we love you, we love your family, and just on behalf of my wife and I, and this entire family, we are inspired to see God's power soon and continuing to work in your amazing life. Yes. Uh, oh, I've been thinking about this this week. Like, what? <laughs> oh, sorry. I knew this was going to happen. Um, you know, Clea, since you were a little girl, like, maybe so, you probably don't know this, but her name, she's going to hate this, but her name means bright and illuminating. And her middle name is Hope. And I was thinking, like, the other day, I was like, her name means bright and illuminating Hope. <laughs> you know, and I'm just thinking about, like, like what you're deciding to do today and that that is going to be what you are like you're going to be a hope for this world because you're going to be able to point them obviously to the true hope right who's jesus christ but um and just seeing you like you know like this has definitely been a journey like i, I have i've seen you just grow so much over this last year and even in the last few months especially just all the talks about just where you're at but just your maturity and your incredible ability to grasp things like at your age it's just baffles me like I didn't ever want you to get baptized this young because <laughs> I was like oh she can't figure that out that young like but you really do like you really know like this is this is the life that I want to live and it just it's so inspiring like you inspire me and your heart inspires and, and it you can see like it's evident like you you will make an incredible impact in your life and I'm so excited to be able to walk alongside you as your sister in Christ now and not just your mom but just your sister and be able to you know to fight this along together as I get to do you know with so many other people in our lives that we have around us and I just thank you everybody like who's been a part of her life and um, because every single one of you has impacted her and helped her get to this point so um, I love you and I'm so incredibly proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to share uh, a little something. I um, this scripture in John chapter three, where Jesus is talking about. Uh, he's actually <clears throat> talking to Nicodemus, and he says, "Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again." And then he goes on, and he's like, "Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit." Flesh gives birth to flesh, but spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying you must be born again. And, I, you know, there's so much more, you know, that this water, you know, flowing down this river is going to do right now. You know, more than any time we've ever floated the river, you know, <laughs> that we've, you know, gone in any other water, you know, any lakes, in the area here, I mean, 
this this water is going to change your life. And it's I mean I I don't get very emotional, um, you know, and Jen knows me like I mean for <laughs> the whole time we've been married, like it's it's really tough for me to like you know cry in any situation but like i'm i'm really crying inside we <laughs> feel <laughs> I mean, it i'm feeling it i'm feeling the emotion right now like you know i mean all the times like that i've prayed that your mother's prayed that so many people here have prayed um people that have prayed with us for you and gosh like i think about know my journey and, and what it took me you know to come to a place you know to make this decision that you're making today and I had to go through so much so much turmoil you know so much grief you know despair like I mean Satan literally almost got me you know and, and destroyed me you know in order for me to like come to that breaking point I almost ended my life, and, and then I, then it, it clicked, you know, and, and you're making this decision now. Like, you're, you're not, you're not giving him the satisfaction, any of that satisfaction, you know, to, you know, to try and, like, get you to go down these different forks on the road, and, um, and, and I don't know what's going to happen for the rest of your life, who knows, but, like, I mean, I mean, you're making this decision now, and you're going to be able to walk with God. You know, and, and be able to face whatever he throws in your path, because he's not, he's still not going to give up. And, but you're going to be able to do that with God, you know, in his spirit. And that's, that's incredible. And I'm so, I'm so incredibly happy for you. You want to share? Or did you want to share? <laughs> Um, I just want to say, like, ugh, how incredibly, like, blessed I feel, like, by God. Just feel like my whole life, just the people he's put in my life, and just to help me get to this point, like, it's just really great to just, like, see it all come together, and just, like, the realization of this decision was, like, just, oh, I needed it. Okay, yeah, let's just say that. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to my whole life story like not even, can't even fit that in here but um i just i'm really excited to go on this walk with god and just live my entire life for jesus and just yeah just be with you all as a sister in christ and i just thank you all so much for being here for me yeah we love you we love you well with that uh couple questions. Um, Aaliyah. <laughs> Aaliyah Hope Gerard. <laughs> Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? That He came down to the earth and He lived? That He that He died on the cross to you? That He He was raised after he died on the cross after three days. Um, and do you believe that? Yes, I do. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> um, what is your good confession? Jesus is Lord! <laughs> Confession. We can baptize. We can baptize you uh, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You will get the gift of the Holy Spirit, and you will be added to God's kingdom. Amen. All right. Oh my God. It's cold. Right. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> now you gotta go way out there by that log out there. Bye-bye. <laughs>